This screencast is a brief introduction to LEO. Other video tutorials will cover all of LEO's features in more detail. LEO looks like an ordinary outlining program. The headline describes the contents of an outline node. The body pane shows the contents, body text, of the selected node. You can insert, move, delete, copy, and paste nodes. Besides the standard outline operations, LEO has three unique features. The first is that any LEO node and its descendants can create an external file, that is, a file on your file system. For example, here are the files in LEO's own code base. As you can see, I use outlines to organize all these files. There is, in fact, over a half million lines of source code in this particular LEO file. Now we come to one of LEO's most powerful features. Any outline node can contain a Python script, and these LEO scripts have easy access to all data in the outline in which the script resides. For example, selecting this line and hitting Control B, execute script command, prints the headline of the presently selected node. Other tutorials will go into Leo's scripting in much more detail. Finally, any Leo node may be cloned. That is, any node may appear many times within the same outline. A change to one clone affects all the other clones of that node. Here is an example. Here is a node, node A, with a child, node B. If I clone node A, node A has the same child, node B. If I clone node B, both copies of node A have two cloned children. Clones are far more than a cute trick. We'll see how to use clones in more detail in another tutorial. To summarize, LEO looks like an ordinary outliner program, but LEO is really an integrated development environment. Any LEO outline can produce many external files. Furthermore, LEO scripts have full and easy access to all data contained in any LEO outline. Finally, LEO nodes may be cloned. That's all for this tutorial. Thanks for listening.